Hi friends, today we uh, will see how to work with a 2D frame which is single, having a big single storage structure. Let us see that. The height of the structure is 3 meter, this it is going to have a light load, dead load and a wind load of simple, very simple. Let us take this from here, let us draw and which is having a 5 meters length. That's it. This is the escape. Let us close this tap node. <coughs> this is having a dimension. Let us delete this one. Okay. It's going to have a fixed strength. Then let us go to the general supports. Create the support. Fixed strength. Add, select the support, assign, select the two nodes, this one and control this one, assign to the selected nodes, yes it is assigned, right, let us go to the view of x, y and then let us give the properties for the b, define the properties, rectangular beam, which is having a very single storage so 0.25 and 0.25 meters okay close now the simple single beam is enough for us so let us see how to do the let us assign to the you select this assign to the view assign yes this is assigned let us see in the 3d this is the beam Okay, right. let us close this. The properties are given and let us go to the load page. And as it is going to have a wind load, uh, let us assign the wind load. Wind load as a point load, so let us not give the any definition. Let us go to the load keys decides. Okay, and let load, let load. And live load. Let us take the live load. Live load and, and let us go to the wind load. This is also wind load. Wind load. Close. Dead load. Select the dead load. Add. The dead load is nothing but the y direction. Downward, so minus one factor and close. And the dead load, uh, the light load, it's going to have half a UDL member load uniformly. Downwards minus, it is having up some 20 kilo newton and close. And wind load at the nodal, at this node, so nodal, the y direction. Team, add and close. Okay. This is to the entire structure. Assign to the view. Yes, assigned. And this is to the only to this beam. This beam assigned to the selected beam. Assign. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Right. This is at this node. Use the cursor. Assign. Yes. Right. Now I am having all the loads here. Right. Let me go to the loading diagram. And this alphabet it is showing. Let me have the load combinations. Define the combinations. I need all of 1.5. So I will define the default factor. I will take all here. All 1.5. Okay. Close. Now let me have the magnitudes. Right click. Labels. 
get the magnitudes of the loading load values of that. Yes. This is the load. These are the load values I am having. Because this is the combinational loads. Alright. And if you go here, this is the and these are the actual, this is the load combination. Alright. Now let us go for the analysis. All I need. Okay. Right. Let me analyze. Run the analysis. Save the things. Let us go for the design. Design. This is a concrete design. Right. Let us select the IS 256. Select the parameters. I need all the things. I need only strength. Compression strength. And the strength of the means and maximum diameter of the shear reinforcement also that we did. Okay, let me define all these parameters. Okay, I'll take 25 and I'll take 415 steel. Okay, same for the secondary also. And this. Maximum main I'll go with the 16. Maximum secondary I'll go with the 8. Okay, close. Okay, second is power. Two times I'm going to give a command. Okay, right. And let me assign to the entire structure. The property uh, throughout the structure is safe. That's the reason why I'm assigning to the view all the parameters let us assign to the view it is assigned now we have to design commands design the command and design the column okay take off also in it yes now let us go design the beam select the beam Assign. Yes. Design the column. There are two columns. Let me select both of them. Assign to the selected beams. Yes. Now take off automatically for the entire structure. Now let us analyze. Run analysis. Save the is exceeding the maximum limit that is okay no issue let us go for the i would like to see the this is what the magnitude the labels the load values this is the notes and result the events display the orientation Height numbers and everything is okay. Apply. Okay. I need to see the basic food processing combination. Apply. Okay. This is the displacement. Go to the result. And then this is displacement. And okay. This is what is the <coughs> my displacement. And then coming to the, I go to displacement, I hit the moment, same thing, go to the result, new result, beam result, now you disable this, pending everywhere, okay, and spread, close. Now this is what, now why the to do the F watch, and close this. Same manner, I would like to see the result 
and close this thing and give that end and maximum until it works. So I will need a thing. These are the values. This is how the reactions. These are the reactions you can see. Okay. Thank you.